Rewrite the following expression as the product of positive exponents, and then evaluate the expression when x is equal to 2. So let's do this first part. They want us to rewrite it as the product of positive exponents. So they don't like it, the fact that we have this negative third power and the 5 to the negative second power. So we want to rewrite those as negative exponents. And to do that, we just have to remember that something to a negative power is just, let me write it over here. If I have, if I have x. If I have x to the negative 2 power, this is the exact same thing as 1 over x to the positive 2 power. If I have a to the negative b power, this is the exact same thing as 1 over a to the b power. You can get rid of that negative by just putting a 1 over this whole thing. By taking the inverse of the whole expression, then you can get rid of that negative. So let's do that over here. x to the negative 3 power, that is equal to this. Let me do this in different colors. x to the negative third power, that's the exact same thing as 1 over x to the third power, by definition. And we're going to multiply that by 5 to the negative 2 power. Well, 5 to the negative 2 power, same exact thing. That's the same, that's the same thing as 1 over 5 to the second power. 1 over 5 to the positive 2 power. And then finally, we have just a straight up x squared. The exponent is already positive there, so we can just leave that as times x squared. So we did the first part. We rewrote the following expression as a product of positive exponents. Now let's evaluate the expression when x is equal to 2. So everywhere we see an x, we should put a 2. So this becomes 1 over 2 to the, let me do it in the same colors. This becomes 1 over 2 to the third power times, times 1 over 5 squared times, times 2 squared. Every place we saw an x, we're now putting a 2. 2 to the third power, just as a reminder, that's 2 times 2 times 2. That is equal to 8. So this is equal to 1 over 8 times five, 1 over 5 squared. 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. So this is equal to 25. And then we're going to multiply that times 2 squared. So that's time, 2 squared is this 2 times 2. Let me write this. 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So times 4. And you could even view this as times 4 over 1. And so you multiply all the numerators. That's what we do when we multiply fractions. You multiply all the numerators. 1 times 1 times 4 is equal to 4. And you multiply the denominators. 8 times 25 is going to be 200 is going to be 200. And then you can simplify this. The numerator and the denominator are both divisible by 4. Divide the numerator by 4, you get 1. Divide the denominator by 4, you get 50. So this is equal to 1 over 50. And just so you see, there's actually a way to simplify it before we even got to this stage over here. It's actually from this stage, we could have multiplied it out. If you Let me just rewrite this thing. So this product, if we multiply it out, this 2 squared, you can view it as 2 squared over 1. So if we were to multiply this out, the numerator would have been equal to 1 times 1 times 2 squared. 2 squared is just 2 times 2. So it would have been 2 times 2 in the numerator. We can ignore the 1's. That doesn't change the value. And then the denominator would have been 2 times 2 times 2. That's what 2 to the third power is. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's what 5 squared is. And of course, multiplying it by 1 doesn't change this value. And then it would have been more obvious that you have you can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2 once. You could do it again. And then you'd just be left with 1 over 2, 2 times 5 times 5. 2 times 5 times 5. And this, of course, down here is 50. This is 10 times 5, which is 50. And you would have gotten the same result.